Hey, it's Clay, CPAP My Way, CPAPMyWay.com. Today we're here to uh, run through how to bleed oxygen into your CPAP machine. So maybe you're already on CPAP and now you've been prescribed oxygen therapy in addition to it, or maybe you're getting both at the same time. We give you a little run through on how to actually get the two systems to work together so that you can uh, move seamlessly um, and uh, make it all work. So first and foremost, if you're using like a, uh, this happens to be a dream station here. If you're using a regular CPAP tube, which uh, you know has rubber cuffs on both ends, it's a really simple deal. You're going to get your uh, bleed in connectors, what we call it, or some people call it an oxygen enrichment port. And you're going to remove the tube from your CPAP, plug on the bleed in connector, which has a female and a male end. And then you're just gonna hook your CPAP tube back up to the other side leaving the oxygen port open, which you'll grab your oxygen tubing over here and you will plug right onto the oxygen port. We'll talk about some safety concerns uh, once we get to the end here, so um, keep that in mind. But what you'll do now is obviously you'll just crank up your oxygen concentrator. You'll wanna put it at the appropriate setting. You know, two is a pretty common liter per minute, but you know, if the doctor said five, then you gotta have the the setting at five. Those are typically adjusted while the machine's running. And now you've got oxygen being bled into the CPAP therapy. You'll put on your mask, turn on your CPAP, and use both therapies at the same time. Uh, of course, in the morning, you'll shut it all down. And you can leave this stuff connected um, throughout the day. You know, there's no need to take it all back apart unless it bothers you in some way having, you know, the, the oxygen tubing. Sometimes these oxygen tubes are up to 50 feet long um, you know, you could have this in another room and, and have the oxygen run in and attach to your, um, to your uh, CPAP. If you have, uh, let's say, a heated tube, you've got a little bit of a complicating factor. So let's grab one of those. So for instance, this is the uh, Dream Station heated tube. It plugs in to the actual um, CPAP. So there's no place to bleed in the uh, oxygen tube there. So get this standard one out of the way. So in that case, you're going to need to obviously pull your mask loose from the end of your heated tube. And up at the mask junction, you're going to plug your bleed in or oxygen enrichment port in the exact same way. And then you'll, uh, you'll have the ability to bleed the oxygen into your CPAP therapy and we'll, you'll go through the same operation. Turn on your oxygen, turn on your CPAP. One thing you want to keep in mind if you do it this way is you'll probably want to take something and kind of tie these two together, even if you just put a piece of tape around there or um, something, you know, you don't want to have it snagging in your bed as you're moving around, like a zip tie or something, but a piece of tape or something flush, a little piece of Velcro to pull these two together because we have noticed with people dragging these things around, you know, if you've got two cords going in bed with you, something kind of tends to pull loose. So you'll probably want to keep those together in, in some fashion. Um, the, uh, the other thing that you'll notice on some models is that the, um, the um, heated tube itself will have an oxygen port on it, or there's an available heated tube with oxygen port. I'll put an image of one up just so you can see that. But, um, and we'll also put links to all these different things in the, in the description below. But um, on those, there'd be like a little port right there where you'll just plug the oxygen literally right into the end of the tube. It's always nice if you can plug it in at the actual unit, you know, at the end of the tube down here, because then you don't have that extra tube dragging along with you. So, um, but if you're using heated tube, you will probably have to put your uh, um, bleed in connector up here at the end. Um, some of the old school masks, you know, obviously not something simple like this, used to have oxygen ports on them, but they've pretty much done away with all those old ones, unless you have something from the hospital. Um, these little parts are really easy to come by. We have them on the website. I'll throw a uh, link up for you. Um, but one thing I wanted to say just on the safety side of things. So when you're using oxygen, there's some things you got to keep in mind. Oxygen is not flammable, but everything that burns requires oxygen to burn. So it's the basic part of combustion, right? What's coming out of this particular unit is like 95% pure oxygen. So this tubing would be extremely flammable with pure oxygen going through it. So if you tried to smoke a cigarette or light some of those romantic bedside candles, it, you, you really need to be careful. No open flames, nothing that is flammable should be used at the same time as using oxygen. Um, so just for instance, let's see if this thing is 
it takes a while for a concentrator to build up purity, but so you'll see here what's coming through. We've got it set at two on the leader gauge here, as well as you know on the um, on the analyzer here. We got right at two liters coming out and over 90% pure oxygen. So you just want to be careful. I mean, I've legitimately had a gentleman that was you know middle of the night hammering some beers and decided he was going to have a cigarette while using his oxygen, and he melted that tubing into his face. It was horrific. Just be careful. I'm not trying to scare you, but if you're running oxygen, no romantic candles, no flammable liquids or aerosols, and, and definitely no smoking. Um, take that outside if you can. So that's it. Really simple deal. Of course, if you have any questions or you feel like there's something I missed, throw a comment down there. If you like the information, like, we'd love you to have love to have you subscribe and follow as well, and we appreciate you watching.